the debates that comes up frequently on my channel, especially the bug out videos, are do you wear a plate carrier or body armor while you're bugging out? Or if you do, do you go with soft armor or a plate carrier? These are two uh, genuine things. This is a level 3A soft armor vest. I wear it every day at work um, or every day that I work. This is a uh, plate carrier. This one's from Condor. It's okay. You know, for 60 bucks, it's not bad. I'll throw a link to this in the description. Um, also, one other quick thing before we get started. I just listened to the book Bug Out on audible.com and um, I want you guys to listen to it because it's a very informative book if you're into the whole bug out thing or the whole kind of getting ready for some kind of civil unrest. So there's a link below. It's going gonna, it's gonna to let you have 30 days for free on Audible and they're also going to let you download two books for free. Hit that link, go download Bug Out, listen to it, and you got a free book for yourself. Let's get into this video. So guys, as you can see, this is the soft body armor. It's, uh, this is level 3A. It's a soft plate meaning it's flexible, it can bend, it's la layers of woven uh, Kevlar woven together to a, to a thickness, which they say will hopefully stop a bullet. You know there's a front and a back, and it's just pretty light. Like I said, you could wear this all day and not really feel the effects of it. The bad news is, is it goes under a shirt usually. You could wear it outside like I am now to demonstrate, but there's no pouches, there's no, um, you know, there's not, not much you could do with it. You wear it, and that's it. Hopefully it'll stop a bullet. These are only rated to stop, I'm gonna check, but I believe up to either 44 Magnum or some somewhere around there. Um, the only reason I say that is because NIJ is the people who certify these plates and they are always coming out with new standards and then, you know, plate or manufacturers are always exceeding and things like that. So I think it's right around a 44 Magnum. Um, you know, if you're if you're hit by a, a 5.56, 2.23, 3.08, any kind of rifle round, uh, you know, with the exception of a 22, this can be useless. It's going to tear right through this. And there's plenty of videos, ballistic test videos, to to prove that. To those of you who commented um, previously on videos, kind of talking a little crap about why somebody would need a plate carrier. So, just want to show you this, okay? Like I said. If this is all you have, that's fine. But generally, these are actually more expensive than rifle plates. So this is this one was about 785 bucks. My girl's vest, she has the newer version, the Paladin from uh, Survival Armor. Hers was about a grand. So you know, when you're looking at, you can be into a plate carrier, which I'm about to show you, with with a, with plates for 200 bucks. You know, if you're looking for something to just have in your closet, uh, that's going to be your better option, better better protection. Yeah, it's heavier but better protection and, uh, and much cheaper. When we compare it to this, this is the plate carrier, okay? You get a little bit more protection. The plates, as you can hear, these are AR-500 plates. They cover, you know, all your vital organs. Go all the way down here. This version does have six by six side plates in it. Kind of how it fits me though, the, the side plates right here. So this, this part, basically from here to here is exposed. So I'd be pretty unlucky to get hit right there. But, um, you know, I get a lot of comments, well, these are heavier. Yeah, they're heavier, but this is going to stop a 308 or the equivalent to an AK round. This, th these plates that I have in here are not even the highest level plates they sell. And this is certified by NIJ to stop seven, um, 7.62 or 308 rounds. So, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, it's a little heavier, but I'm also getting a lot more protection. One of the other things about these plate carriers is obviously they're all Molly compatible. So, you know, extensions for magazines, got pistol mags, handcuffs. Uh, this would come off if this was a should hit the fan vest, but I got my rifle sling um, permanently attached and slung through the shoulders so it's out of the way. And here's the thing you can still conceal this with, if I put a, not a, a a windbreaker, but if I was to put a jacket like a, like a you know a 5.11 or a first tactical or whatever kind of jacket over the top of this, it would still all you would you know I could still zip the jacket. Yeah, it's you know it's not super bulky on the back. This is this is it. You know, obviously there's guys that build these out a lot more and they're fat and they're, you know you got to walk like this. I keep my stuff pretty low profile. You know these are high speed gear. Um, 
magazine holders. They're also high speed gear here and high speed gear here. Nice thing about these is these will hold any, any pistol round, 1911, single stack or double stack. These will hold any rifle magazine round, AK, um, AR, any of it. Okay, the single sling attachment is cool because, okay, let's say I got this, let's say I got this gun, right? Just because it's what I had out. I can, right here, and you're ready to go. Okay, let's say I had it set up a different way. Okay, I got a shotgun. Say I had shotgun rounds set up, or I wanted to carry the shotgun. Same thing, got the single point attachment. That's it, ready to go. Same thing. You know, ready to go. So, the the wide range of capabilities make me say yes, yes to a to a rifle vest over a soft vest. Uh, for bugging out, this is going to make you look more aggressive. Yes, it's also going to keep you alive longer. It's going to make you maybe be more of a target. It's also going to keep you alive longer. Is it a little bit heavy? Yeah, it's a little bit heavy. You know, loaded with this many magazines and, and the plates. Oh, you're probably looking at 30 pounds. But all my veterans out there, thank you for your service and uh, you know myself as well. If you wore one of these in the military, no big deal. You're already used to it. You already know what you got, especially if you're a grunt. So, not worried about the weight. And somebody commented once, oh, well, you're going to run out of water sweating in that thing. Guess what? I can attach a, a camelback directly to the back of this thing. So I'm not worried about that stuff. As we're finishing up here, I'm just going to roll in some uh, still pictures of some other nice examples of plate carriers. None of these pictures are mine, but like I said, I want to show them off. Um, so like I said, if, if budget is an option, or excuse me, if money is a, is a problem, absolutely grab the Condor grab some uh, some plates and like I said 180 bucks 160 bucks if you grab them on sale you can be into a, a rifle rated uh, vest which is going to protect you a lot better than any kind of soft armor and you know we all joke in the community about end of the world shit hit the fan you know whether it's going to be zombies civil unrest you know aliens whatever it is um, my opinion I think the most realistic out of those not that I know if any of them are going to be realistic, but I would think the most realistic would be some kind of civil unrest. And you really don't know what other people are willing to do for what you have. You don't know what other people are willing to do. People are crazy enough when society is uh, normal, let alone, you know, when there's extra circumstances like that. So I would absolutely, you know, have one of these available to you if you were going to bug out or if you were thinking about adding something like this to your bug out kit. They're pretty inexpensive and they're pretty versatile. Like I said, you can set them up kind of however you want. If money's an object, go with the Condor. You know, some is better than none. Um, I personally run right now a Banshee plate carrier. Very comfortable, very versatile. It's set up similar to the Condor. It's just a little bit higher, well, a decent amount higher quality. They're about 200 bucks. And, um, First Tactical is going to be coming out with a plate carrier pretty soon, I hope, and you guys already know I'm a big fan of them. One of the last points I want to make is that no matter what you decide to go with, the hands down most important thing you can do is train with it. No matter what armor you go with, if any, um, it's going to affect the way you move, the way you're able to manipulate your weapon. You know, it's not, it's not the most comfortable thing to wear, you know. Are there some of us who are more used to wearing them? Yes. Are there some of us who have worn them for long periods of time? Yes. But that doesn't make it the most comfortable thing on earth to wear. Okay? It'll shoot. It'll affect your shooting, length of pull, stance. You know, it'll accelerate the effects of heat, things like that. So you need to make sure you have sufficient water, make sure you have sufficient strength, and sufficient training to overcome these things. Um, with all that hand in hand, I definitely think you can extend your lifespan a considerable amount if a, a situation where you needed to bug out was ever necessary. Last thing I want to touch on as we're already talking about plate carriers is home defense. So again, I keep this Condor sitting next to my safe so that you know if any, ever anybody was to kick down the door, most robberies 
or breaking and enterings, depending on where you are. Um, you know, they're using guns now. They're not. They're not really. They're not really messing around anymore. So you're able to set this up and leave it in a way that's able to just kind of throw on. It may not be snug, but if you were just to throw it on and not not velc cinch it down all the way, you're still going to have an awesome layer of protection that hopefully your intruder won't have. Um, like I said, I just keep this condor at the house because it was sent to me to test. I personally would not take this one into the field. I, I mean, I would take it into the field. I would not take it like on a deployment or any long-term kind of heavy-duty, hard-duty uh, tour like that. I would definitely go with a higher quality, either uh, uh, the Banshee, the SKD Pig, um, eh, the 511 I'm not a huge fan of, or look at the first tactical when it comes out. Guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts on whether you want to wear a plate carrier, soft armor, or no armor at all when you're bugging out. Leave those comments below. And remember, links to a couple of the items I showed you in this video, along with that free Audible trial, are going to be in the description. Thanks again for watching.